Hey there everyone, it's Misty here from the Jolly Fit Elf. Thank you so much for joining me. I know you've seen me in this a couple of times now. You're probably gonna see me in it at least one more time. <laughs> in today's video, I have the second birthday card that I mentioned. I made this card months ago, like literal months ago. I think I made this card in March. So, but it's part of my product use it up series or use your stuff. I can never, it's my own project and I don't remember what I call it. <laughs> anyway, I am working through some scrap paper. So this is a great way to use all of those little pieces of scrap paper that we have lying around. And we're gonna make a really fun and cute and festive little birthday card using the little mice from MFT. I love that stamp set, so fun. So yeah, so if you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing. I'm trying to upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 p.m. Um, I mentioned before that since having pneumonia, I've literally lost any brain power and all kinds of time. <laughs> so bear with me. If you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing and give this video a big thumbs up. You can find all of my social media listed in the description box down below. Um, let me know if you like these videos, if this has been helpful for you. Um, I would love to know what you want to see in my holiday card series. That's going to start soon. Um, and if you don't want to leave a long com comment, just leave me a purple heart. I really appreciate you. All right, that's enough jibber jabber. Let's head over to the craft table and we'll get started. Y'all, I'm on attempt number four for this voiceover. So hopefully we make it through. So you can tell by what I'm wearing in the video that this card was filmed when it was cold outside. So definitely not any anytime recently because it's over 100 here in DFW. So, but before we get into this card, I um, am trying to raise about $1,000 for some unexpected expenses that we've pop popped up for us. So I have um, eight mystery card bundles left over, and then I've added a bunch of cards to my Etsy shop. So if you um, can support and we'll check that out, I really do appreciate you. If you can't monetarily support, that's fine too. Leave a comment, give the video a thumbs up, watch the ads, etc. There are there are ways that you can help for free, but if you can help, um, I really do appreciate it. There's also a buy me a coffee link down below. Um, I think it's $5 you can support in five, $5 intervals or, um, yeah, I just appreciate it. I hate asking just for money, so I'd much rather sell stuff. And that's why I'm like, I've got mystery card bundles left. <laughs> I've got cards left. So yeah, so if you can help, I appreciate it. Um, we do have an emergency fund, but this will probably wipe it out. So yeah. Anywho, let's get back to the card. So I wanted a pink and purple card. I Again, this is part of Project Use Your Stuff. I had this whole pad of doodlebug paper and I went through and I pulled out like the plaid and the polka dots and stuff like that because I really wanted um, a very fun and colorful card. So I'm coloring the um, frosting pink and I did purple on the cupcake liner. And then we're going to do like a fun turquoise on the candle. And then we're going to make a fun background. So that's what is happening in today's card. So this is from MFT. And the dyes I'm using today are from MFT. MFT, um, since we talked about it in my haul, has had another 60% off sale um, for the Olympics. And then they've had another sale um, for like their Blitz Day. But they did like, I think it said like 50 dyes or something. And then they released a new card kit today. So I I don't know what's happening over there. Um, their latest release sold out in like minutes, I think. I don't think there's anything left to buy. So I don't know if they just didn't purchase as many as they normally do or if it's people afraid that it's not going to be available ever again. Um, like that Yuzu Highland Cow stamp, which I've been waiting on since it released they haven't restocked that. And they did restock some like dyes, but that's that's really been about all they've restocked. And during that, um, those sales, it's like nothing was available. And it's like, okay, are you guys going out of business? What What's really going on? And I know there's a whole club of people who are like, it's not your business. They have like, you don't have any right to that information. But it's like so many brands are dying and closing their doors and when you have a brand that's been around as long as MFT and has been such a staple in the crafting community, you have to understand that your, your, your fans and your customers are scared that you're going away. And maybe we could help you if we knew exactly what's going on. Like, 
I, I'd said this last year, I think maybe the year before it's like when they started having these regular 30% off sales once a month or once every six weeks, it's like, you're teaching your customers to wait for a sale. Like they're, why would you pay full price if it's going to go on sale the next month? And that's been a pretty big complaint for them. Um, in the group, it's like I would literally just bought all of this at full price and now you've put it on 30, 40, 50% off sale. And that can be irritating. Now you're not promised that I know, like you, you know what I'm talking about. So I, I honestly don't know what's going on over there. Um, all of the threads that talked about it have the comments turned off. You can't comment on it. You can't bring it up. I don't know if they are policing posts, like if they're moderating posts or not. I haven't tried to post anything in there. So yeah, I don't know. But I I love them. Like I love, like my biggest issue with them is the price. And it has been the price for the last several years. I just think it's ridiculous how much they are charging for dyes and stuff. To me, I don't care if it's made in the USA. Like that, that isn't a big deal for me. I know some, for some people it's a huge deal. For me, can you provide me quality stamps and dyes at an affordable price? Like with Hello Bluebird and their new bundles and one was like $80 and the other one was 160 and it's like, oh dang. <laughs> like, how are people support, supposed to support this and do this on a monthly level I have no idea, but yeah. And again, so many companies have closed. I think it's like at least 15 off the top of my head. I know Possum closed. Uh, there was a whole, someone like, I'm like, who has closed? And they gave me a list of like 10. Now, a lot of them are small, but like Heffy Doodle closed. And that I figured that was like a midsize um, stamp brand. So, you know, fans and customers want to keep these brands afloat. But you have to, like, you have to let us know what's, you have to fill us in a little bit so we know what's going on and we know how we can help. So again, you don't have to tell me, you know, show me all your taxes and your businesses and stuff, but don't be so secretive when you have people who want to help and who are willing to help. So I honestly wish we would get, everybody would get away from cutaway dice like this. It is a pill. It's a pita. I mean, it's not the worst thing in my life, but again, I always feel like these little um, clippy doos are going to get all over my craft room and end up embedded in my skin. It never, it hasn't happened yet, knock on wood, but still. All right. So this is a piece of notebook paper from Doodlebug. It's one of those scrap pieces. And this sentiment is also from MFT and it's from, it's like a cupcake sentiment, sweet treat sentiment um, stamp. And I am stamping, I hope today brings a sweet surprise. And I'm um, stamping that in Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. This is a Stamparatus from Stamping Up and they no longer make it, which is very sad because this this is probably one of the better ones on the planet. Now, I know that Sizzix has a new one that's like eight and a half by 11 and a little bit easier, but yeah, I don't have that one yet. I'm hoping to get it at some point in my life, but yeah. So here I'm just kind of pulling some papers and I'm going to um, end up cutting them down. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do. Like at this point, I was like, what are we doing? Like, what, am I going to do this? Am I not going to do this? And this is when I start cutting papers down and what's funny is I didn't use any of these <laughs> I ended up using um hot pink cardstock that kind of purple cardstock and that aqua cardstock and then all of the patterns that are white is what I ended up using but I ended up cutting up a ton this is the easiest way to use up scraps and um, this is a piece of paper that measures four by um, five and a quarter um you saw me Last week, week ago, when I did my brother's card, I did something like this and I used a piece of adhesive sheet that I get off Amazon. I feel like that's so much easier um, than trying to do it with um, tape runner, but it can be done both ways. And here I'm just kind of deciding what's going to go where. I'm trying to use up as much paper as I can um, just because I... I I hate to have these little scraps, but I also don't like to throw them away. Hence why I have so much paper. And if you saw the MFT haul, you saw all the plaid. 
And that's not even all of it. Like, that's the plaid from MFT. And I'm like, Missy, you didn't even pull out your Christmas plaid stuff. And I'm like, oh, Lord, maybe that should be my first TikTok where I just throw down all the plaid paper I have in my collection. Listen, I have a problem. I've admitted it. I, I can't help it. I can't help it. I love paper. I love paper. And it's very rare that I don't use paper in my crafting. Now, if I'm doing a scene, I may or may not use it. But yeah. Oh, and other nudes. I'm also and other nudes and other news. I'm also working on designing um, the cards for my Christmas card kit. Uh, those will be available probably sometime next month. I'm guessing. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. So this is graph paper, and I'm going to use a circle to cut this out. Um, I'm going to use the wonky circle for the cardstock, and I'm going to use the wonky circle for the um, rectangle. Did I use the wonky circle on? I did. So I used the wonky circle on both of the the um, the cir both circles that you're going to see, and then I used the wonky rectangle on the background, and I just um, adhered the sentiment to some cardstock and then cut it to make sure it looked even. So I like to use washi tape. I just finished that roll of washi tape. I meant to save it, but I think it ended up in the trash. So that's a bummer, but this is how I like to attach my um, paper to the die. I know a lot of people like especially use the magnetic platform, but even when I was using that, I didn't find that it did much. So this die is the exact same size as the um, background. So I ended up having to uh, do it from the back. So I cut a piece of this. I think this is Highland Heather from Stamping Up. I cut it down to four and a quarter by 11. Then I scored it at five and a half. And so we're going to have about an eighth of an inch border all around. And then this is, um, again, the circles. And I'm putting these down flat because I want to pop up my images. So my little cupcake with its stand and the little mousy dude um, I'm putting on uh, mounting foam. Is that what they call this from Scotch? I think it's what it's called. So I'm going to pop those up and I'm going to pop up the sentiment. And once I get that done, we're done. So again, I will have a link to my Etsy shop down below. Thank you in advance if you're someone who can purchase. I really do appreciate you. Um, but yeah, here's a look at it in real time. I forgot to add shimmer shimmer, but I still really like how this one turned out. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have a good day, night, weekend, wherever you are. I love your faces. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.